Greetings, fellow traveler. So, I don't know if y'all can tell it's raining today, right? And uh, it had me thinking when I was out on the trail. Just chilling with my thoughts, right? I had a moment where I was appreciating the rain when it started coming down. Like, it's cool. The air is fresher. It's, it's a nice feeling, right? But also had me thinking about some of the things I've reflected on in my life. And when I got to where I am now, where I, I really do have a beautiful, close relationship with God. The rain re reminded me that you can't get wet by saying water. I don't know if y'all heard that before. When I heard it, I was like, oh, that's nice. But it reminded me that I wasn't building a relationship with God just by saying God. No, I had to talk to him. I had to chop it up. I had to look at myself to get to know myself better in order to do that. But in doing so, it uh it freed me. It freed me of a lot of guilt, shame, uh, false ideas and false notions of myself, of this world, of God. And it reminded me, as I say a lot, of my inherent power, the power that lies within, the power that I come from. And when I was when I was younger, you know, I was my family had me in the church and I say for about, yeah, for about 10 years of my youth, like I was involved in the church the whole nine. But I got disenchanted because I was surrounded by those who were saying God. They were saying God. They were saying water. But they weren't getting wet. I wasn't seeing God like operating in their life. I'm not saying their life had to be perfect, but I didn't. I didn't have any kind of emotional connection to it because I was simply watching the show. But then when I began to tap into myself years down the line, I was like, oh, okay. That's that God thing they're referencing. Oh, this is, how do you even put it in words? I mean, I do the best that I can with sharing my testimony with whoever watches this, but I'll be honest with you. Like some things is just, Yo, you got to experience it. <laughs> That's it. The cold part is we all experience it every moment, every day. It's just understanding how we relate to it, understanding our relationship with our world. And when you understand more your relationship with your world, you see how powerful you are and you see how magnificent God, source, creator, the universe, you see how magnificent it is. See, it doesn't matter what cave you enter. It doesn't matter what rabbit hole you go in. It's all your reality. It's all your relationship with God. And it's being put out in front of you as if you're watching a movie and living a movie. The world is a stage. You just have to remind yourself that. You have to remind yourself of that constantly. And before I jump off, uh, there was something that always stuck out to me. For any of you who have ever, you know, been in church, even just once, and you've seen this thing before. In front of the altar, usually in front of the pulpit, in front of the pastor, there's a table. And on that table, they'll have the offering tray. I've seen this in almost every church I've been in. I haven't been in church in a while, so I don't know how they're doing it now. They might be cash app and donate. I don't know. I don't I heard that they don't even have real Bibles. People just use their phone. I'm not knocking it at all, but I'm letting you know that's how long it's been since I've been in a physical church. So when I used to go into the church when I was growing up, they had these tables with the trays for offering. But on the table, there was an inscription that always puzzled me. It said, In remembrance of me. So me as a kid. Even as an adult, I'm like, who is me? If we talking about God, why don't it say in remembrance of God? If we talking about Jesus, why doesn't it say in remembrance of Jesus? It had to be intentional that they put me. So why would they put me? Start reflecting on my life, getting better with God, getting closer with God. It's in remembrance of me, the God within me. Just as when you read it, it's a remembrance of the God that is within you. Yo, trip me out.
trip me out. If it doesn't resonate with you, hey, that's cool. I'm not judging you. But for myself, it gave so much more clarity. This life that we live, it's in remembrance of you. It's in remembrance of the thoughts that you have, the feelings that you have, that you send out. And that harvest that you reap, it's a reminder of what you've been sending out. So remember who you come from. Remember your true essence and spirit. And more importantly, remember that what you do think and what you feel comes back to you in great magnitudes. So choose wisely. Be who you are. More importantly, remember who you are. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.